Good morning, folks. This is Bubba, the Jewish Redneck Prepper, again for a third episode of Around the House. Today, uh, well, this morning, bright and early, getting up, I just wanted to show you some canned goods uh, for preparation for the winter that my wife has done. She took uh, my re recommendation of how my uh, mother used to can certain items, and uh, I wanted some pickled... Uh, uh, green tomatoes and so my wife she did some canning on them and uh, this is um, the outcome and uh, mama what all would you do to can these green tomatoes? Add them in hot jars, wipe them, cut them in quarters, boil the vinegar, a little bit of water, sugar, and uh, different seasons and pour them over uh, is these uh, um, green tomatoes, are they sweet or are they deal? I think it's sweet. They're sweet like. Is it the same kind of seasoning that I had the other night? Yeah. Okay, then that's kind of like a tart sweet pickle that you uh, did on there. Yeah, I like sweet and sour. Uh, here, the, the week we were over in my uh, dad's house and he's got a big old fig tree. And uh, I did a video in my wild ed edibles uh, section on my YouTube site and this is some of the figs that came off of his um, uh, fig tree. Uh, Mama, how did you prepare these figs? Uh, wash them, put them in sugar overnight, cook them off, and that's it. That's and water bath them. Put them in hot water bath them. And uh, that's some more green tomatoes. But how many? A dollar and a half is all in that box. All in that box. Well, this whole box is full. Of fig preserves and one, uh, green tomatoes. Fig preserves and green tomatoes. And over here, my wife did some more canning, and she's got some jelly. It's corn cob jelly, walnut jelly, fig jelly. Uh, okay, this kind of jelly. What is this kind right here? Well and this is a small jar of watermelon jelly. And is this water? This is peach jelly she got that she made. It's um, the it's peach. Corn cob jelly this that would be the clear. Yeah. And this is corn cob jelly. There's another name that it goes by Moonshine. too. Right? Moonshine jelly. Why is it so? Um, I don't know. So runner runny. And one runny guy put it in the water bath. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, leaking. All this morning? Yeah. And then you got your pressurized new potato slice that we usually eat with onion fried. Okay. Or I could make them and make mashed potatoes. Right. Okay, folks. Well, that's just uh, some of the canning my wife's been doing. And uh yeah, and these are these are leaking. Yeah, and it popped up. It just popped. I pushed my finger on it. I know. So you're gonna have to redo them, ain't you? Uh I can't. I need to get more corn. But uh folks, uh that's just some of the preparations we're doing for winter and just giving you some ideas if you wanna kinda like uh stock up on food and prepare. Uh, here, my wife, she dehydrates, uh, she cans and, uh, Freeze. and freezes and everything like that. But um, my objective is, is that sooner or later, I don't believe the United States grid can keep on going like it's going. And freezing is a good source for right now, but you're better off learning how to dehydrate, uh, smoke your uh, uh, food, cure it or uh, can it like she does here. Freezing is, is an optimal idea for right now as long as we own the grid, but learning other different techniques on how to preserve food and getting away for, from freezing is the idea. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, how about hit the like button down below and subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper. Until the next time, this is old Bubba saying enjoy the journey. Goodbye, God bless, and shalom.